I'm in the middle of a purge. I was thinking about how I wanted to form my talking points for this video. And I was thinking about, should I even do this video? I've been thinking about it for quite some time. Ever since early this morning, I was thinking about it. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't do the video this morning because I was in a real, real bad headspace. And I and, and I would have said something very, very inappropriate. I'm almost sure of it. And I would have hurt a whole lot of people's feelings, right? And I have to be very, very careful of my delivery for a whole I have to have a woosah moment with myself so that I can really calm down and say things in a more appropriate tone. Because I'm, I'm working on that. God is working on that, right? I'm, work, I'm, 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 I'm submitting myself to God so that He can do the work in me that He started as it relates to walking in the spirit. Because if I walk in my flesh, my flesh will lead me to a place where I shouldn't be and, and have me saying things that I shouldn't say. And I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. Because I'm representing God, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a representative of him. And a lot of things that I say, that I say, huh, and I do, it's not godly a lot of times, right? So I have to develop this by walking in spirit and in truth. So, with that being said, I'm in the process of purging myself of a whole lot of toxic people, places, and things. And I'm in the process of doing a whole lot of things differently as it relates to my social media presence and platform. I'm in the, I'm in the process of rebranding myself, if you will. So if you notice a few differences and upgrades, if you will, here and there, just know that I'm purging and I'm walking into a whole new season and I'm learning some real inconvenient lessons and some very, very uncomfortable conversations are necessary, right? And I thank God that he has stretched me and processed me in such a way that I'm able to withstand a whole lot of what I am being impacted with. You know, social media is a horrible place to be. Even though there are some great aspects of it, and I met some really nice people. And I want to say the good outweighs the bad. And I will say that, but I got to acknowledge the garbage that comes with social media. You know, there's a lot of energy, a lot of garbage energy that engulfs social media. And for some reason, it has a way of finding its way to my channel and my pages and crossing its little chubby legs and making itself real comfortable and making itself at home. I don't like that. I notice, I've been thinking a whole lot about this and I notice not all, but a whole lot of the people that are attracted to my 
social media platform are the anchor coincidentally are the same people who I talk against and denounce in my social media commentary. And I've been asking myself, Carmen Kaboom, how is that possible? It seems like they would go the other way instead of being like a magnet and I'm attracting them to me. And they are obsessed with me and they have such a hatred for me that they actually pretend to love me. That's a sickness. That's a sickness. Not only is it a sickness, but it's a satanic presence that I just don't understand. I don't want to understand it. So I told myself, and the Spirit of the Lord has been telling me, we got to do things differently. Oh, yes. <laughs> and see, this last little satanic troll that has been coming to my channel, and I'm, I'm, I'm real insulted by the audacity of it. I wasn't surprised because, I, like I said before in my previous video, I saw the play. I saw the play two years ago. And one thing about me, I'm very, very intelligent. And I'm an empath. So I really internalize a lot of this energy. Whether it's online, whether it's in person, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And a whole lot of things that I see and a lot of the game that I peep, I don't have to always say anything about it. But just know, Karma Kaboom sees everything. Don't nothing get past Karma Kaboom. And I've been like, I didn't just start waking up like this. I have been like this for a very, very, very long time. I guess ever since the day I was born. I was born into this. Having discernment. A high degree of discernment. And I thank God for that gift. And a lot of these demonic people, they try to... What's the word I want to look for? They try to condemn me for having this gift. And they want me to apologize. I will never apologize for being able to see your spirit and read your spirit for the garbage that it is i will never apologize for having that level that degree of intellect i consider it as a gift a really wonderful gift that god has given me and a lot of people hate you when you can read their spirit and they try to manipulate things and try to make it seem like, oh, you crazy. Oh, you so emotional. You so this, you so that. And then they try to pretend like they are so wonderful. Ooh, it's nothing wrong with them. It's disgusting. It's really disgusting. But anyway, I'm in the middle of ordering me some food and running a couple of errands. And then I'm going to go back and put a whole lot of thought into this purging process I've started it a little bit and I got a whole lot to do a lot of you all have been having too much access to me and with access comes in a lot of cases it breeds familiarity 
And when people get too familiar with you, they get way too comfortable. And a lot of times, that opens the door for a lot of disrespect. And I've been disrespected before by a lot of these people that I've met on social media. I'm not surprised by anything because I've seen it all before, right? But this last level of disrespect, I will not ever allow that again and i'm i'm, I'm not gonna I, i'm pretty sure that this little troll and i can't stand trolls by the way and this is one of the most disgusting trolls and i dare not say its name to breathe life into that little dead half dead imp i refuse because they are a nobody and they have tried to build their platform up by using me as content and other people and they've had no success no success you don't have any talent i don't care how much you steal my talking points and how you try to use my picture and my intellectual property will which you will not be allowed to do and i and i was gonna i wasn't gonna spoil this i can't i gotta be careful not to say too much but one thing that i'm i'm getting ready to do i'm getting ready to put oh i'm gonna get ready to play tear the playhouse down of, of this one particular troll because you think you're getting so ready to have fun and play with me and my name and no 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 one thing that you will do and that goes for everybody whether you like me or not you will put some respect on me and my name i i i will not tolerate disrespect I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. But at the end of the day, and at the beginning of the day, you're going to give me some respect. And you're going to put some respect on my name. Yeah. And this person, hello? Uh, hold on a minute. You know this place uh this place started out real 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 nice <laughs> just like a lot of these fake subscribers and followers they when they pretending to really really like me they always start out real real nice they oftentimes sending me cash apps and telling me how much they love me and i'm their favorite youtuber and we find out later on it don't take long before all that fakery it dissipates right and then a real true color start to show it's only so long they can keep up the facade right and then you see the real real character and i've i've experienced that so much you know and I'm almost numb to it at this point. And like I said, nothing surprises me. Nothing. So now, at this point, as long as I have been on social media, for it to continuously happen, for people to think that they can play with me like they do, 
and disrespect me like they do. I have to examine myself. What is it about me that makes you think that you can play with me like you do? And disrespect me in my name like you do. So now, I have to do the work. <laughs> to let it be known and understood. And put certain processes in place. <laughs> Whereas you, you, you got to know you can't play with me. Right? So... A lot of the access that I have allowed in the past, I gotta cut it off. I gotta, I gotta cut it off. All of this emailing me when you get ready and when you want something, <laughs> ain't none of that gonna happen no more. You can't email me no more. You can't email me no more. I'm gonna start doing y'all like these other YouTubers. Just ignore you. Just post my videos like they do and go on about my business like they do. These other YouTubers, they ignore y'all in the comment section. They don't engage y'all. They don't interact with y'all. And I've been spoiling y'all. And that's part of the problem. I've been very personal with y'all. That's part of the problem. I... I have been too friendly with the devil in a lot of cases. A lot of these people that's been on my channel and on my social media pages, they ain't nothing but the devil, workers of iniquity. I've been playing patty cake with the devil. <laughs> Woo! And I said, we can't tolerate that. We can't, we can't be, we can't be out here playing with Satan. And that's why Satan done got so comfortable. You out here playing jump rope with him. You out here playing patty cake with him. You out, uh, <laughs> you out here having conversations with him. That ain't supposed to happen. And the thing about Satan, Satan, he wants he he wants to destroy God's children so bad. Guess what he do? He all up in the church. He all on social media. He on Facebook. He's sending friend requests. He's sending follow requests. He doing, he doing too much. And he'll even send you cash out. Yes. He'll send you cash out. And get you all buttered up. And try to get your mind messed up, you see. And distracted and make you think. That ain't Satan. But all of, the whole time. That's Satan the whole time. And he got so many different aliases. He got so many avatars. He got so many fake profile pictures and fake names. And ooh, he got all kind of he 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 got all kind of uh, he got all kind of stuff going on, right? And the whole point is to get closer to you. He want to get closer to you. He got to get closer to you in order to get information divested from you in order to try to set you up and like i said i've been through it so many times i've been through it so many times so you know i'm getting real good at playing the little game that satan like to play i'm getting real good at it and sometimes he's an actor too i forgot to tell y'all that he's a real he's an amateur he's an amateur though but he think he a real good professional actor. But uh, he be auditioning for all kind of roles. He be out here playing. He, he love to play. He love to play games. And be real deceptive. And he full of tricks, right? And he like to shape chill. He can, he can take off this character and, and become another character. You know, just like them YouTube trolls. <laughs> they pretend like they this person one day. Then the next per day, they're another person. They they might be a, a, a female one day. Then the next day, they're a black man. The next, then they might pretend like they're a little child. They got all kind of different characters that they play. Ma'am. All right. And, um, you know... I have really 
gotten just sick in my stomach. Like this morning, I was just nauseated, nauseated, just thinking about all of these satanic spirits out here. And that's the effect that they have on me. They have me nauseated, especially when a whole bunch of them be just swirling around at the same time and, you know, just contaminating the atmosphere. They, 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 they are some disgusting, disgusting entities. They really are. And this, this morning, I said to myself, I got to put some additional security measures in place. I've been way too lax with, with Lucifer's folks. I've been way too lax with them. And I don't, I don't, I don't just, I don't just let them just play and build a playground and play patty cake. And we cannot tolerate that anymore. We can't tolerate that anymore. And I have begun to do the work. I, like I said, all of that emailing me. You can't email me no more. I'm going to do y'all just like them other YouTubers and bloggers be doing y'all. And y'all give them a lot of respect. Y'all give them a lot of donations. Y'all, you know, but you, I, I've been spoiling y'all. I've been having giveaways. I would have had more. But then I said, no, because they taking me for granted. They don't even appreciate the stuff that I do do for them. So why should I do more for you? And you already don't appreciate the little things that I do for you. And I never, I never shall forget. And it's it's done happened to me so many times. It's done happened to me so many times. Thank you. I don't know why it took that long to give me that drink. I don't know why it took me so long to get this drink. But anyway. But yeah. As I was saying, I done spoiled y'all. And I remember a time of a few years ago when I used to do like 10 plus videos a day. Just like that. And it was nothing. It was nothing. What other, what other YouTuber you know do, do that? Just out of the kindness of their heart. I don't have to do that. And then I began to realize. These, <laughs> these people don't appreciate me. These demons. And I'm not calling all of my subscribers a demon. But if you are a demon. You know who you You know that you are a demon. And. If, if, if you are a demon, I'm talking to you. And I said, these demons don't deserve me. They don't deserve me. And I started to pull back. I started to pull back on doing so many videos, right? And then... A lot of times in between, I said, well, why should I even come on this thing and engage people who don't appreciate me? A lot of them don't even like me. And my, oh, that's the sickening thing. That's the sickening thing about it. Most of the subscribers on my YouTube, they, thank you God for the food. Bless you. Forgive me for import. Amen. Most of my subscribers on YouTube and the people that follow me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all of them other places, most of them are trolls. You don't even like me. Ooh, it, it's something real wrong with you. When you don't even like a person, but you want to get closer to them in order to get real familiar with them what they like what they do where they go who they talk to so you can try to build ammunition 
as a weapon against them, right? The more I am, am impacted and affected by trolls, I'm beginning to understand y'all profile. I, I'm, I'm getting real good at understanding y'all profile and how psychotic y'all are. And um, I know I asked for some Cajun seasoning. I don't taste no Cajun seasoning on this burger. And as long as I waited on the burger, I shouldn't have no complaints, but I did. And a lot of pressure has been applied by way of all this trolling. Making all these videos. Telling lies on me. Etc. All of that is being done. Let me tell you why. Because they're trying to apply pressure so I shut this mouth. Shut down my YouTube channel. Turn the lights off and close the door on all my social media and just go away. Like they done did a couple of other people. But that's not going to happen. I'm built different. When the adversary, when the ops, when you come against me, it just makes me more determined. That's all you do. When you come against me, you really doing yourself a disservice. Because I'm real hard-headed when it comes to somebody trying to make me do something that I don't want to do. And something... That don't even affect you. And you trying to define me. And you want me. To walk and talk. And exist by your terms. And conditions. And then you a raggedy motherfucker. Forgive me Lord for cussing. I take, I take that real personal. I take great offense in that. <laughs> and I always have been this type of person. I build determination deep down within me when you try to suppress my personality and my character and and my spirit because i'm a free spirit right and then i feel like you're trying to suffocate me and i take that real person and then you're trying to dim my light and i got a bright light i got a bright future right and God is the one that gave me the light. And then you trying to disconnect my light and damn it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I take that real personal. I, I get real offended by that, right? So it's something inside of me that's been there since the day I was born, since the day I was conceived. When a person is trying to suppress me and make me feel apologetic for being who i am now here we are with all these homosexuals y'all say let them be who they are but then when it comes to karma kaboom you don't want me to be who i am make that make sense i need the ops to explain yourself why you don't why you don't want me to be myself but then you let these homosexuals be who they are. You let you let all these thoughts who be out here twerking, you let them be who they are. Even you trolls. You satanic trolls. You evil motherfuckers. Forgive me, Lord, for cussing. 
You want to be who you are, a evil bitch. Forgive me, love cousin. And you don't want me to be who I am. You want up uh, the it's the audacity for me. You want to say what you want to say about me, but you don't want me to say what I want to say about you. That's not gonna work. Uh uh. You want to do what you want to do as it relates to trolling me and trying to recruit other haters because you know them haters be need some hater help. They can't hate by themselves. And they be needing to recruit other haters to help them hate on me. I must be a powerful motherfucker. Forgive me, love for cousin. When you got to recruit and dispatch other haters to help you hate on one woman, one fat woman and there you go with your skin and cell you you ain't got no power to hate by yourself you got to go get some hell you got to get a whole bunch of other haters and y'all still ain't shut me down yet y'all still ain't closed my mouth yet and it's a whole bunch of you why y'all ain't got no power to shut my mouth And look how long you've been trying. You've been trying for years. And I'm still talking. And I still ain't thinking about you. Let me tell you why you can't. Let me tell you why you ain't had no success. Besides you being a punk motherfucker. Forgive me, Lord, for cussing. You ain't had no success. Number one, I'm God's child. And you can't do nothing about it. Number two, this is my destiny. I was born for this. I was born to open this mouth. I was born to make Satan's people uncomfortable and real, real mad. <laughs> yeah. When you're doing something you ain't supposed to do, you ain't living the way you're supposed to live. You're supposed to get uncomfortable when somebody speak against what you're doing and what you're saying and how you're living and how you're feeling and how you're breathing. Yes. That's a normal reaction. So just be uncomfortable and then do the necessary work to be better. Instead of getting mad at me, get mad at yourself. If you, your family members, or friends, or your community, if y'all fit the description of whatever it is I'm talking about, and it make you feel a certain kind of way, it make you mad, it make you uncomfortable, don't get mad at me. Get mad at yourself. Get mad at your family members and friends. Get mad at your uh com your community. Take your take your anger out on them. Don't take that on me because it ain't gonna do you no good. You just gonna get frustrated. Cause see, I'm built different. When you attack me, I attack you back. Okay. But that's the part that be confusing y'all, cause y'all be thinking, oh, y'all done sat here on my platform. You done donated to me. You done talk to me in the email and you think I'm your friend, right? You think you got me real tricked. You got me tricked out. That's what you think. So you be thinking, oh, she a Christian. She love the Lord. So she must be real weak, right? No, no, no. I'm not weak. I'm real, real strong. And God, he keep building me up all the time. He building me up right now while I'm talking to you. And... You can't see it, but just know that it's happening, right? And then when I counter back or I say something that set your soul on fire, you be like, wait a minute. And then y'all remind me, you supposed to be a Christian. You supposed to be a Christian. You is too. You are too. But look at how you're acting. Look at how you're talking. Look at how you at him representing yourself.
And that's a lot of people. They got it twisted. They think just because I'm a Christian that I don't know how to fight. When when you getting up on me and you disrespecting me, you, you think because I'm a Christian I ain't supposed to fight. Uh-uh. There's some fighting going on all through the Bible. Yes. We in a spiritual warfare. And I'm on the battlefield. And, 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 and the Lord fights my battles. Yes. But sometimes I get out there and help the Lord. You know. Not that he needs my help. But I just feel like showing up and, and helping him out. Because that's my, that's my family member. That's my father. So. You know. That's how that go. When one fight, we all fight. Or at least, I think that's how it's supposed to go. Which leads me to my other point. A lot of y'all They claim to love Carmen Kaboom. You've been sitting on my channel and my Facebook page and everywhere. All these years. You see these trolls attacking me. And you won't you just sit there and let it happen. I don't ask y'all to screenshot and send it to me. Y'all won't do that. I don't ask y'all to email Google and YouTube. When they be cloning y'all profiles and doing all that kind of stuff, you, you you come crying to me. We could have been done got this taken care of if you would just do a small thing like email YouTube and Google and tell them what's going on. But you won't do that. Because you know why? Some of y'all that say y'all love Karma Kaboom, y'all really don't. And it shows. <laughs> it shows love. In case you didn't know. Love is an action word. You got to do something. <laughs> you got to do something. And I be asking myself, is they lazy or just low down? When they when they won't even email Google and YouTube and tell them what's going on. When you love somebody... And you support somebody and you see them getting attacked you just gonna let them get attacked you just gonna you just gonna stand there you ain't even gonna write up no witness statement on their behalf so i've been watching y'all do that y'all been sitting back watching me get attacked by these trolls stalking me Y'all been some of y'all been going to some of these hate clubs that they got all over all over the internet where they attacking and lying and and, and doing all kind of awful things against Carmen Gabon. And y'all sit there and look at this stuff and you won't say nothing. You go along with it. I don't say some of y'all posting comments and liking the the, the haters comments when they talk against me and when they lie against me i don't see y'all and a lot of time most of the time i don't say nothing i just go to your profile and i block you and i keep it moving i don't say another word to you for what what am i gonna say something to you you done show me everything i need to know why am i gonna say something to you Huh. Why do we need to argue about it? Why do we need to talk about it? Why do we need to debate about it? Everything is understood. You being a cross-dresser. You being a cyber cross-dresser. <laughs> you being a cyber two-faced person. You being a backstabber. You're doing double duty. You're double dipping. And all that kind of stuff. 
And I don't tolerate those kind of people. You're a liability. You're not an asset when you do that. Okay? You're evil. You're low down. And I have learned over the years a lot of people lie on social media. I have learned over the years Ain't no love in these YouTube streets. Ain't no love in these YouTube streets. I said, ain't no love in these YouTube streets. <laughs> Ain't no la 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 love. Ain't no la 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 la. I said, ain't no love, love, love in these YouTube streets. Ain't no love in these YouTube streets. It's treacherous in these YouTube streets. I ain't never seen nothing like it. <laughs> I feel like saying saying that song again. Yeah. Tone me up. Tone me up. To me up. Ain't no love. I got a short microphone. Let me get my long microphone. Ain't no love. Where is my? I want a long microphone. <clears throat> Cause it's a it's some long YouTube streets out here with some long haters out here. Woo, a bunch of them. Is that the biggest microphone? Uh, it's not. It's not. I need a great big old microphone. Hold on. <coughs> Ain't no love in these YouTube streets. Ain't no love in these YouTube streets. I say it ain't no love out here in these YouTube streets. Not a bit of it. It ain't a bit of love out here in these YouTube streets. Woo! And I can't take it no more. And I've been asking myself, do I just... Just give up and just walk away from my YouTube, from the boom boom room. Do I just, do I just walk away? And I have considered just walking away so many times. Not because the troll is pushing me away. That'll never happen. But because I'm sick of the fake love. Not the drama. Not not the games that YouTube be playing with my numbers and demonetizing every video as soon as it starts and keeping the same number of views since I started and all the other games that they play. It's not because of that. Or some other YouTuber got bigger numbers or more subscribers or getting more donations. It's not none of that. I don't care about none of that. It's the fake love for me. <laughs> I can't stand this fake love. Woo! And when you tell me, oh, I love you, Karma Kaboom, it makes me sick in my stomach. It really do. And y'all be trying so hard to fool me. I know a fake person when I see it. Even in the spirit. I can read your energy. Energy is a dry snitch. It'll tell on you. Yeah. I don't care how much you pretend and rehearse and all that kind of stuff. I am so smart. I'm so smart. I'm so smart, right? Yeah, all this fake love. I can't stand it. It makes me nauseated. And I see. I think I'm getting ready to go start. I don't understand TikTok. I don't understand Twitter. But I'm getting ready to maximize my social media presence. You know, I've been real relaxed all these years. 
And it's not about how you start. It's it's about how you finish. I ain't even got started yet. I'm I just been warming up. So if all of you haters and trolls, if y'all think I've been something all these years, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. I've been telling myself it's time to maximize the boom. Woo! It's time to be all that I can be, right? And I've been, re I'm gonna tell y'all something that y'all gonna be surprised about. All this time, guess what? I've been real, real soft, and y'all been thinking I've been too much. Man, can you can you believe I can I can be more way 10, t 10 20 times more of what I've already been on social media. I've been I've been restraining myself. I've been real real so. I've been holding back. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine if I let myself go? And let up off the let up off the break and just go full throttle. And I've been telling myself lately, now you getting ready to be 50 years old. What you got to lose? What you got to lose? You 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 ain't getting younger, you getting older. And I got more years behind me than I do in front of me. So I've been telling myself lately. What the hell do I have to lose by going on full throttle as it relates to who I am as Carmen Kaboom? The world needs me. Because, you know, the fake is the new real. And I'm the only one that's really keeping it real, for real, for real. The world needs me. I'm the voice of reason. I'm the only one out here telling the truth. And that's why Carmen Kaboom is such a big threat as she is. Because she tells the motherfucking truth. Forgive me, Lord, for cousin. She tells the truth. The inconvenient truth. The uncomfortable truth. Yes. A lot of people that's living a lie, they don't like that. Uh-uh. A lot of people that's comfortable being a fake, they don't like it when I show up and open this mouth because I shut all of that down, right? And make them re-examine themselves, right? And what fake person wants to, to re-examine themselves? Who, if you being fake and phony and a liar and a deceiver and a low-down, no-good imp, you don't want to get uncomfortable because you're real comfortable in that status, right? Then here I go coming along. Just tearing all that up like a like a tornado. And it just makes them mad. But like Dawg said, if they mad, make them mad them. So, all of these fake folks, I serve you notice. It's not going to be business as usual. And when you attack me, when you come against me, I feel compelled to reincarnate myself as it relates to the little pieces that you think you left for dead. <laughs> I'm real dangerous when I give me a little rest. When you call yourself knocking me down and Throwing doodle on my name. I'm real dangerous when I get quiet. And then when I open my mouth, you want me to shut up. I'm doing you a favor when I get quiet. Okay. I'm I'm and stop. I told y'all a long time ago. Stop emailing me asking me when I take a sabbatical. When I take a break. And I don't post no videos. You don't see me saying nothing. Stop emailing me. Asking me, Carmen Kaboom, where you at? We ain't seen you in a while. 
when you gonna post another video? You don't appreciate the videos I already done posted. That's what, another reason why I don't put most of them on private. You don't appreciate me. And a lot of you demons, you don't deserve me. Okay. And you, and I'm sick of y'all stealing my videos. Because you ain't creative. And you want to use me as your content. You want to use me for content. Because you're not creative. You don't have a creative bone in your body. You want to use me for your content, but you don't want to give me no credit. You don't want to even want to send me no cash out. After you steal my stuff. But I got I got news for y'all. Guess what's guess what's getting ready to happen? I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna spoil the surprise. But I guess I will spoil some of the surprise. I ain't gonna spoil all of it. I'm getting ready to trademark my name and a whole lot of my catchphrases and slogans and you know carmenisms. You're gonna have to pay me when you when you use my stuff. And you're using my image to tarnish my brand. You're gonna have to put some respect on my brand, baby. You're going to have to put some respect on my image. Yes. Whether you want to or not. And and we're going to start tearing a lot of these playhouses down. Oh, yeah. I don't let y'all get real, real comfortable. And then all of a sudden, your playhouse getting towed down. You're going to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck happened? Forgive me, Lord, for cussing. Yeah. And you're going to think, I done did you wrong. But look how you done did me wrong. Look how long you done did me wrong. <laughs> but you think that's all right. I ain't going to tell you when. But just know it's coming. Along with some other stuff. But, uh, I refuse to lay down and play dead. I just lay down and get my rest. And I'm real dangerous when I get my rest. I'm real dangerous when I get real quiet. And I was going to make a whole lot of videos this weekend. But I said they don't even appreciate the videos I've been giving them. So, I, not everybody, but you know who I'm talking about. If I'm talking about you, I'm talking about you. Okay. Lace up the shoes if they on your feet. To 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 enlarge my territory that God has already ordained, right? Because I'm getting older. I can't afford to be out here playing with y'all, right? And some people, especially in the black community, y'all want to play, 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 play all your life and never get any work done. So I said, during this purge, this is a necessary purge. I'm purging a lot of people off of my social media. And I said, the other day, I said to myself, Self, I need to find my tribe. You know, all these YouTubers, they got their own tribe, right? I don't have my tribe. So many people come and so many people go. But your tribe sticks with you through thick and thin. They support you. They help you to win. They love to see you win. They not jealous. They don't envy when you win, right? They ain't no they ain't secretly hiding in the bushes and hating on you. And doing double duty. And I said I need to find my tribe. And you know it's billions of people in the world. And I need to reach them. I ain't reached all these people. And I said, 
I need to start reaching these people. The world needs Carmen Kaboom in their life. Yes. Yes. And that's what we're getting ready to do. That's what we're getting ready to do. You know, the enemy serves as my footstool. And I thank God for the footstool, right? What the devil meant for bad, God can use it for my good. So when you put my name out there and you think you hurting me, you actually helping me. Because like I done told y'all before so many times, so many times, most of my, I'm a, I used to then call them fans, but I'm going to call them fans. Most of my fans and followers and subscribers, they started out as somebody being nosy. Because they was over there with the ops. And the ops was putting dirt on my name and doo-dooing on my name, right? So, just like most nosy people, they said, Well, let me go find Carmen Kaboom and see what all this fuss is all about. Then they came on and checked me out on my channel or my page. And they saw that they liked what they heard and seen. And they said, this girl is a dope ass as a dope as fuck type of person. She dope as a motherfucker. Forgive me, Lord, for cussing. Yeah. I think I want to subscribe to her. I think I want to send her a donation. I think I don't want to pay them haters no attention. Because she dope as fuck. Right? Forgive me, Lord, for cussing. I'm just cussing. And that's how most of y'all got here. How did you get here? I'm telling you how you got here. You got here because of a hater advertising me for free. I didn't even have to pay them. They just do all this free promotion and publicity. And I just am so grateful. I don't have to pay them a dime. They just run their mouth and promote me for free. <laughs> Yes. So, I just focus. I don't focus on the hate. I just be focusing on getting better and better and better and better and better. Yeah. Why they just sit behind their screen and hate on me? I just focusing on getting better. That's what I focus on. I don't be. I don't be. Why should I focus on a loser putting their mouth against me, huh? When God has already blessed me. Why should I focus on the ones that want to curse me, huh? Huh, they ain't got no power. They don't have no power. All they got is a little raggedy keyboard. That, that, you know, and, and some little dusty paws. That's all they got. And a, and a whole lot of hate in their little bitty heart. That's all they got. And that's not much, is it? It's not much. And I'm glad... That they see me as the star. I have no I, I just can't get over that. One of the haters said that Karn Kaboom was supposed to be a star. I can't get over that. And it's a lot of them have had those talking points, right? A lot of them have had those talking points. So I said, oh, so the enemy can see something really wonderful in me that I you know, I oftentimes take for granted. Yes, yes. Oh, you know it's something when 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 the demon can see the, the the quality in you, right? But that same quality is something that they hate about me, right? They in a love hate relationship. They don't know what to do with those emotions. They don't know what to do with it. But I got star quality, and I know what to do with it. But see, I don't be. I don't be manifesting it at the rate of speed that they want me to. It's on it's, it's on God's time. I'm walking in God's time. Not on yours. Not on yours and what you want for me. A satanic person. That's not what I want for me. That may not be what God want for me. And then it may not be his timing. It may not be his timing. You can't rush quality right a lot of y'all so used to quantity 
you're foreign to quality. This is quality. Okay. It's just like you're baking a, 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 a really wonderful cake. You can't rush the cake. You got to let it do its thing. Okay. The temperature got to be right. You got to have the right ingredients. Yeah. And you got to know what you're doing. Yeah. You see a lot of people like Tasha K, who y'all just brag on, and I think she's so overrated. They rise so fast, and then they fall just as faster. Yes. They making all this money. Huh. And then they got to spend it on lawyers. They got to spend all of it on court costs. So you got to be careful when the when, when when the crowd is barking and 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 cheering for you, because most of them don't have your best interest. No way, they love them same people that love you today will hate you tomorrow. Did you hear what I said? The same people that pretend to love you today, they'll turn around and hate you tomorrow. The same way they build you up. They'll use them same blocks and hammers and nails to try to tear you right back down. Yes, that's why I don't let these people on social media build me up. No, 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 no. That's God. That's God's job to build me up. You got to be careful with these people with these satanic hands trying to build you up. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't want I don't want I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. And then when they send you cash apps, and, 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 and some of these gifts, oh, they can't wait to tell somebody when you make them mad. I did this for her. I did that for her. If it wasn't for God, you wouldn't have been able to do it. So you got to give God the glory and the credit, the honor and the praise. Not you. Not in yourself. Not yourself. I'm not going to give you no uh, glory. No, that, the glory be gone, belongs to God. All the stuff is his anyway. Okay. <sighs> but I have given so much of myself, right? And so many people don't appreciate it. So many people don't appreciate it. So I have told myself, I got to pull back. All the way back. And re-examine what's really going on out here in his YouTube, in social media streets. What's really important? Who is really who? Because so many of y'all got on these masks. You won't wear them COVID masks, but you'll put on the other masks to conceal your face and your real identity. Yeah. The irony. It's the irony for me. And I got I to gotta really examine y'all. Why are y'all really here? I got to examine why am I really doing what I'm doing? Where are we going with this? What is the goal? Is any money in it? Because they damn sure don't be donating. So if it don't make money, it don't make sense. And I'm just wasting so much time. Or am I really wasting time? Have I made any difference? A lot of y'all say that I have. A lot of y'all say that I'm making such a difference in your life. Oh, you say, oh, so many weekends, you send me emails. Oh, I'm having a Karma Kaboom marathon. I'm just watching your video after video after video. Oh, you make my day so much better when I watch your videos. Oh, you have me laughing, Karma Kaboom. Oh, you're so funny, Karma Kaboom. Oh, you really made me think, Karma Kaboom. Oh, I did that too. You did that. I did that too. We got that in common. You know, you tell me all these testimonials of how I made a difference in your life. And you you say that you're so happy for me when I have these triumphs and I overcome these obstacles. But then I wonder if you really do mean what what you say as it, as it relates to bidding me goodwill. Because, you know, if you want to see me uh, win you should want to stimulate my growth and and when I say that it's not always about money you can support in so many ways without money 
And I really take it personal. And I said this previously. I take it real, real personal. And so, oh, and somebody said, it's just social media. I get real offended when y'all say that. I get real offended. And the person that said that last night on my Facebook, you are blocked. Yes, Karma Kaboom, that's too, that's too, that's too much, Karma Kaboom. You, you blocked because you said that? Yes, absolutely. But not only that, but that was a part of it. I bet, I told y'all, I'm real sensitive about this energy. And some people will say, oh, that's overrated, Karma Kaboom. No, it's not. Unlike these other YouTubers and bloggers and content creators and influencers, I take my presence and my platform and the energies that I attract, I take that very seriously. And I'm real, real sensitive about that. When you say when you tell me that I shouldn't have a problem with how people process themselves and how they engage me or the lack thereof and i feel offended when you walk into my room and you just sit there like a predator in a van and you don't say nothing you don't engage me you don't interact with me i take that real of and, and, and real offense it's it's almost like this is my home and i am welcoming you into my home and you just sit there looking at me you ain't got nothing to say you just gonna sit there looking at me i get real uncomfortable with you just sitting there looking at me but you go to these other channels you got a whole lot to say but you come over here oh you uncomfortable why are you uncomfortable you the one came over here I didn't go go dragging you over here. But you come over here, you ain't got nothing to say. But you been running your mouth over there in that in that in that channel. You been going over the uh, uh, algorithm thought. You been going over there saying something. You been going over there donating. You been going over there, going over there, going over. You got so much to say on these other people's channel, on these other people pages. You liking, you sharing, you donating, you subscribing. You're following all these other people. You got so much to say in the comment section on these other people's uh, channel. But then when you come over there to my page or my channel or my live, you quiet. You ain't got nothing to say. You ain't got no feedback. You ain't got nothing to add to the topic, really. So I feel like you, 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 you just a waste. You just a waste of space. So... Let me get you up out of here. If you ain't got nothing to say, you ain't got nothing to add, you ain't got nothing to, nothing to contribute, you ain't got a, a, a dollar every now and again to donate, and you know I'm trying to expand my uh, platform, you know, just like before my birthday, and I'm still in my feelings about that. Y'all, they say that you love me, didn't even send me not one dollar in the cash app. Didn't even send me an email say happy birthday, Karma Kaboom. Didn't say nothing. I took that real personal too. I, I did. I'm still in my feelings about that. And I probably always will be for the rest of my life. You gonna hold on to that long, Karma Kaboom? Yes, I am. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you be all over the, these other people pages happy birthday so and so happy birthday so and so sending big boxes from amazon and wherever else to their front door and and, and oh, i take that very personal i certainly do i sure do and i don't apologize either and when i was talking about it on my facebook page last night here comes somebody who I really don't think is a real supporter. At least these last couple of weeks, your energy been real different. And I noticed that. And, and then somebody else, your energy been, been, been real different too. And when you get different, I got to get different too. 
I got to adjust to the different. I got to get in my defensive mode because I don't know what's coming next. But when you get different, I know something coming next. Something, something, something getting plotted. You thinking about something. Yeah, and then a lot of y'all go over to these other pages that be anti karmic boom, and y'all get contaminated. Y'all be under the influence. It's like y'all be drunk. Y'all be under the influence when you come away from all of that trash. And, and then <laughs> you be looking at me different because you don't went over there to the garbage can. You don't went over there to the garbage can and you're over there participating in all that trash. But then you come back to my channel and you wanna and ooh, you wanna bring and drag all that trash with you. All that trash residue with you. That's disrespectful as fuck. Forgive me, love for cussing. But anyway, I want y'all to pick a side. Either you're gonna be in the garbage can or you're gonna be on my on my channel. You can't do both. I don't own nobody. All right. But y'all going to have to choose a side. You algorithm thoughts. Y'all be dumpster diving. And then you want to come back over there to my channel. And my pace smelling like sewage and garbage. And doo doo. Uh uh. I run a clean boom boom room. Uh uh. You can't come over there smelling like garbage. And don't went over there to the garbage can on these hater pages and got all that doodle -doo on your hands. And then you're going to come over there sitting in my chair in the boom boom room and think I don't notice. I smell you. Yeah, I smell you. I see you. Yes. Yes. And I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm not absolutely not going to tolerate it. See, that's the difference between me and them other YouTubers and bloggers. I have standards. They don't have none. I have standards and I know my value, even if you don't see the value in me. And speaking of value, I, th I take it real personal. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. I know money is money. Some of y'all think money is money as it relates to these cash apps. And... A lot of y'all, y'all try to five dollar me a deal. I'm real offended by them five dollars. Five dollars, and you really think you done did something by five dollars? You're playing me cheap. And then you go to these other channels, giving them a hundred dollars, fifty dollars, two hundred dollars. I be seeing what's going on out there. And I'm not trying to compare myself to these other YouTubers and bloggers, but I'm just saying. I'm, and then they be having some whack ass content. They be over there being goofy as elf. And y'all just be donating big dollars. Big dollars. Giving them lunch money. Giving them money for breakfast. And a snack. An afternoon snack. And they don't be giving y'all this quality content like I do. They don't be spending hours and hours and hours with y'all. They don't. They don't take y'all on, on on the ride to work like I do. <laughs> so I said they must be taking me for granted, or they don't value me at all. And I said, why? Why should I consider them and they don't really consider me? They don't even go together. They don't even go together. And I feel like I'm, I'm just wasting my time and my talent. And I shouldn't feel like that. I shouldn't feel like that. But I do. And I, I have been saying they don't appreciate me. So I got to find my tribe. And this is what I love. I love what I do as it relates to being a content creator. It's natural. I don't have to rehearse it. I don't have to write down a script. I don't have to practice. I don't have to pretend. I don't have to show my titties like some of these YouTubers do. Especially when they're ugly. They got to they, 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 they gotta overcompensate. They don't have no talent. So they want y'all to look at their titties and, and, be, and, and be bamboozled. You know, and hoodwink. And forget all about the fact that they don't have no talent. Because they be tricking y'all by showing y'all their titties. And twerking and all this foolish, goofy, gimmicky stuff. 
I don't have to do none of that. I can just sit in front of my, and, and I don't need all these fancy cameras. You know, that's a plus. But I can, and then, uh, and then I don't have some of y'all to try to shame me because I just use my phone. Oh, you need to get this. You need to get that. I don't need to get none of that. I can get my phone and just talk to y'all, and y'all going to pull up and listen. Yes. But I guess you feel like I'm not worth it. I'm not worth it. Oh, these these extra donations, the big donations, because I just use my cell phone and I don't have all these graphics and all these lights and all these cameras and all of these sponsors and all of this and all of this and all of this. And then y'all be looking at the numbers. Oh, so she don't have that many number people watching her. So why should we give her a lot of money? So then y'all go to the people with the big audience that's got a lot of you know hundreds and hundreds of people in their live so you feel like that validates that person so then you feel like oh they got a lot of people over there so i need to give them a lot of money so since carm Cabon don't have that many people over there we don't need to give her that much money even though she over there struggling we just gonna laugh at her struggle we ain't gonna help her get better you know what i'm saying but these people, these YouTubers that got all this money and they say they really don't need the cash app, we're going to give them the cash apps anyway because we feel like they more valuable than Karma Kaboom. Even though they more ugly than Karma Kaboom, we're going to still give them more money, you know, and we're just going to watch Karma Kaboom struggle and laugh at her. Oh, I've been thinking about a lot of stuff, as you can tell. And I'm just giving you the, 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 the short version. I ain't giving you the long version. I'm giving you the short version of what I've been thinking. I do a lot of thinking. And, you know, this social media is rapidly changing, right? But one thing remains the same. Your content. And people can tell when you are authentically made for that particular content. Some people just be front out here. Some people be copying other people's stuff. And, and making it their own and remixing it and all this kind of stuff. And pretending to be somebody they're not. I don't have to do that. I am authentically made. other people they new to this i'm true to this right i can just open up my phone and talk for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours about anything my longest live that i've done is what 12 hours and i probably i probably could go longer than that i probably could go 24 hours or 48 hours and just keep on talking and talking and talking and talking. How many of these YouTubers do you think could do that? That's what sets us apart. That's real raw talent. When you can do that and you can hold the audience for 10 plus hours nonstop. And you can talk about anything and you can make content out of anything. That's talent. And those that try to duplicate and emulate and copy and paste Karma Kaboom, they can't do that. They can't do that. All they can do is steal from me. Huh. And then turn around and act like I'm a little YouTuber. I'm not significant. Huh. But we all know that that's a lie, right? But this is what I love. So I'm saying to myself, I got to step back and see if what I love really loves me. And this is sort of like my baby, right? I built this from the ground. Me and God, well, God. And we done went through a whole lot of changes. We done seen a whole lot of different subscribers and followers come and go, as well as haters, as well as 
different demons and trolls that have attacked and that I have had to counter attack. And then they build the false narrative like it's karma kaboom. Who is the big bad wolf? But they don't tell their side of the story of how they be doing me dirty behind the scenes. They just tell y'all what they want y'all to hear. But I tell y'all the truth. But y'all don't want the truth. Because the messy lies are more entertaining, I guess. But nevertheless, this is sort of like my baby, right? And we don't went through a whole lot of changes. We've seen the highs. We've seen the lows. We've laughed. We've cried. We've had some, some deep thoughts. Some real heavy conversations that was very uncomfortable. We reminisce. We've talked about all kind of different people, places, and things. So now it's time to go into my higher self and expand my territory and go places that I haven't gone before as it relates to the boom boom room and my social media presence my platform that I don't take for granted and like I said all these years I haven't gotten started I just I just I'm just now starting to get warmed up and now it's ready the time is ready for me to really begin my social media presence and take it more seriously right and I have learned a whole lot about a lot of these people I've learned a whole lot about the algorithm I've learned a whole lot about a lot of things and those are things that I really appreciate, whether it be good, bad, or ugly. Because it's made me a stronger, more resilient, more capable and qualified social media person. And no matter what I do, I'm going to put God first. And all these attacks that come at me, God blocks them. You know, very few of them do manage to penetrate me. For the most part, God blocks them. And a lot of times, I be wanting to make videos and really wear their asses out. But you know, when you grow stronger and you get bigger and you, you're, you're more of an important person, you don't let these roaches phase you. Because they are roaches over there, down there in the sewer. So why, if I'm up here in my higher self and I am this presence on social media, who they want to be, and they want to build their little channel up, their little struggling channel, based on attacking me and drive the traffic to their channel, I know the game. I know the game. They play it all the times. These people who are struggling to build their channel and their pages up, they have to go after people who have already been established and have already established a name. Nobody knows your name. The one that's attacking me. Nobody watches your videos. But you want to build your name and your page by using me as target practice. But you, you don't have enough skill. And it's really funny to me. <laughs> and the stuff that they try to use as ammunition is it's, 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 it's nothing. It's nothing. And then I was telling my friend about this last night and we laughed about it. You know, a lot of these people, especially the trolls, they sit back in the bushes and they watch me. They be the first ones to pull up when I go live. The first ones. And they listen. They take notes. They bring a paper and a pencil. They screenshot. 
they screen record and they get so mad when I put my videos on private and <laughs> they try to learn me they try their best to learn me and they think they be having me all figured out and then at a certain time when they think they can launch an attack and try to turn my subscribers and followers against me and they scared that i'm gonna go higher and i am i am and you can't stop that what god destines for me and what god has for me is nothing that satan and his demons can do to block it or stop it you can't do nothing but get out of my way okay and if god had to move you out of my way whether he kill you or make you sick or get you run over by a, a garbage truck whatever he got to do to get you out of my way it's gonna be done okay so you might as well get out of my way voluntarily because if god had to get you, get you out of my way he may not let you get back up ever ever again okay so you know i was telling my friend you know it's, it's, it's really magnificent how God works out in my favor, right? When the devil and his demons try to harm me, he, he, he can turn the situation around whenever he gets ready, right? And use it in my favor. And I said, you know, what a difference an email can make. What a difference a phone call can make. It's so many different people that be watching my videos. A lot of them are very high profile people. Yes, and they don't never say nothing. They don't never comment. They don't never send me no emails. They just be watching me. And they're trying to figure out, I guess, oh, is she really talented? What more does she have to offer us? And maybe at a certain time, they may send me an email and say, hey, we think you'd be a great fit for this new reality show that we're working on uh, based on a whole lot of YouTubers and bloggers. Or you might, they might want me to be on a show all about fat, fabulous, strong black women. Huh. They have unsolicited opinions that are unpopular. And they'd be like, would you be willing to sign this contract and join us on this network? No, it's possible. It's possible. I've had a lot of different offers in my email. Yes. Yes. And just because you don't see it don't mean it's not happening. I don't have to tell you everything. And then a lot of y'all think I'm telling y'all all my business. I am not. And if I tell you, you can't use it against me. If I thought that it was something that I was ashamed of, I never would have told you. If I told you, that means it's behind me. It means I'm free of it. It means God has delivered me. If I struggle with it, I'm free. I'm redeemed. You can't make me feel ashamed about what God has delivered me from, what I have grown from, what has made me a stronger, wiser, better black woman. Okay, use that as uh, inspiration to help your own self get better. And, I'm, and, and it's really ridiculous how people think that they can use something that you have struggled with to shame you. You can never shame me about nothing. It's nothing that I have experienced that I'm ashamed of. That's what sets us apart. That's what sets us apart. And I'm so liberated and free, I can open my mouth and tell you my story. And God gets the glory. Meanwhile, you over there in your closet, you shame and you embarrass and you mad at me for talking about the stuff that you still struggle with. But y'all not ready for that conversation, right? Y'all want everybody to think that y'all so perfect. Y'all got the best credit and you living your best life. When in actuality, a lot of y'all living y'all best life. And you only post the pretty pictures on social media. You only talk about the good things about your life. You don't show the people the bad. 
You don't show the people how you struggle. You don't show the people when you're sick. You don't show the people when you're weak. No, you want us to think you always so strong. But that's the beauty of me and why I draw so many people. Because I show the good, the bad, the ugly, the sad. I love it. I love it. I'm an open book. So you cannot shame somebody that's living their truth for real for real y'all talk about live your truth live your truth and then when i live my truth you try to make me feel bad about it you try to beat me up with my truth and you do that in vain you do you you wasting your knuckles trying to beat me up with it and this is what intimidates y'all because i am so rare you used to people being so fake and so phony and presenting such an illusion. And it really, it really offends you when you see somebody like me and you hear somebody like me that's really living their truth and they are not ashamed. And you can't make me feel bad for what God has helped me to overcome. Yeah, I've fallen, but I didn't stay there. Yeah, I made some bad decisions, but I made some better decisions. Yeah, I have I, I've, I've had bankruptcies, but now my credit is, is getting rebuilt. Yeah, I've had some bad, failed relationships. Those are in the past. I, I've had some really great relationships, some, some brand new relationships. So if I no longer think about those past relationships, what are you? Why do you? You want to remind me of the bad. You want to remind me of the mistakes. You want to remind me of my faults. You want to remind me of all the things that 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 broke that tried to break me and tear me down. But now that I'm being rebuilt, you want to acknowledge that. You won't give me no credit for that. You won't give me no credit for getting up and trying again. You want you want to remind me of when I fell down. When I fell down, you want me to stay down. That's why you keep reminding me when I was down. You didn't want me to get back up, but I'm up. And I'm stronger. I'm wiser. You want me to stay sick. God done healed me and made me well. And he's making me better and better and better and better and better every day. And you don't like that because that's a threat. That's a threat to you. But anyway, I got to get going, honey. I could talk to y'all all day. But I just want y'all to know that we get ready to... Uh, experience a purge on this channel and my other pages and when you come at me you got to come correct okay you got to come correct i'm not gonna tolerate no bullying i'm not gonna tolerate no intimidating i'm not gonna tolerate no um trolling and since and i had said this I wanted my own app. And I thought y'all wanted the same thing. You pretend like you can't stand the trolls, like I can't stand the trolls, but what are you doing to help eliminate the trolls? And I just know y'all was going to uh, contribute, but since you don't want to contribute, since you don't want to become a member and pay the membership, even though y'all spend more money on crab legs and marijuana and all this other foolishness, 20 20 25 dollars a month what is that you don't donate so you ought to be glad to uh spend 20 25 dollars a month on a membership okay you don't want to do nothing you don't want to do nothing but just take 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 and sit on my page and and, and and just absorb everything like a sponge you want me to do all the work and you want to benefit no 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 okay you don't you don't look you don't want to become a member you don't want to interact with me on Facebook because over there you got to tell your real name, right? And then y'all y'all can't hide like y'all do on YouTube. I know why y'all not coming over there on, on Facebook. I know. I know why you're doing what you do. And I said, okay, they don't want to, they don't want, look, y'all don't want to do nothing but just do what you want to do. 
Okay, and so you see me struggling. And you don't want me to benefit financially. Well, God is going to increase my territory and my finances anyway, whether you like it or not. And, okay, so since y'all didn't want to help contribute to getting the app built for my birthday, like I said, and that wouldn't that wouldn't have been too much. But since y'all don't want to help, but you say you love Carmen Kaboom, and you are a liar. You are a liar. And the truth is not in you. You say I'm your favorite YouTuber, but you 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 won't help get things done. You don't really want to see me win for real, for real. Okay, so we're gonna do it without you. And when I get the app done. If you want to if you want to see me, okay, you're going to have to pay. It's going to be a subscription based app. Yes. Absolutely. And those of us that are liberated in our talking points and we don't want to be threatened with getting terminated, we don't want to get threatened with all this trolling like Kaya. She got her own app, Tasha K got her own app. This is what we're going to have to do. Those of us that are really a threat to a lot of these trolls and how they try to sabotage and re report the video and all that kind of stuff, we're going to have to get our own apps, our own websites, so we can run our own show. And one monkey don't stop no show. That's my motto. And I'm going to run this mouth. And I want to get me an internet radio station. I want to do it all. I want to do it all as it relates to building a magnificent brand. Better than ever before. If these haters thought I was really a problem before, y'all ain't seen nothing yet as it relates to this mouth and me running this mouth and me saying what I want to say. Okay. And you listen. Make that make sense. You offended. You tired of my mouth. But you keep on coming over here and listening. I want y'all to make that make sense. I don't go where I like people. I don't go. I don't go finding them and listening to them on purpose. That's retarded. That's retarded. But they want to stay closer to you. To try to get... Uh, information about you to use against you. That, that's why they, that's why they follow me. I know why y'all follow me and you don't like me. And let me say this and let me be clear when I say this. I don't care about you don't like me. I don't. I probably don't like y'all. So we got that in common. But do you see me on your page? Do you see me trolling you? That's the difference. Okay. I can like you. I cannot like you and keep on moving. You not liking me is not going to stop my breathing. It's not going to stop me from going to the cookout or any other restaurant or any other uh, island or get, get on the airplane or, or building my brand or going to the fucking bank. Forgive me, love cousin. You know, and doing all the wonderful things and reaching all the wonderful goals that God has for me. You know, you not liking me is not going to stop me. It's, if anything... You not liking me is going to encourage me to be better. Yes. And the and, and, and the rocks and, and that just throw at me, I'm going to use it. Well, God is going to use it to help build my territory. That's all, that's all you, you, you little rocks. And a lot of y'all like to throw rocks and hide your hands. Don't be a coward. Don't be a keyboard coward. Stand ten toes down on your SHIT. Stop hiding. Stop hiding. There is no credibility in a ghost. And I take pleasure in being a ghost buster when I can. I, I, I can't stand these little punks that hide behind these fake profiles and, and, and throwing rocks and hiding their hands and, and thinking that they, they, they intimidating somebody by being a little ghost. Who respects a ghost? Okay. Who respects a little coward? Nobody. Nobody but other cowards. And it's so childish. It's real pathetic. 
it's real ignorant it's real dumb but anyway you know those are the quality of people that a lot of these queens are shitting out of their hole forgive me lord for cussing <sighs> but anyway um is there anything else that i need to say for now i think i've said it all pretty much but anyway thank y'all so much for tuning in and we are going through a purge right now and i'm not going to be interacting with y'all in that inbox and don't send me no emails because for a long time y'all have been able to access me anytime you want but i can't access y'all whenever i want whenever i ask y'all for something oh you can't do it or you don't respond at all so i said why should i participate in this one-sided com uh, relationship huh you want to be able to take from me whether it be uh a video 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 or i'm entertaining y'all with different posts and celebrity news and all of that y'all are benefiting from the relationship i'm not benefiting from y'all at all a relationship should be give and take i shouldn't be the only one pouring into you and you don't never pour into me it should be reciprocated i'm not I, I don't feel like i'm being reciprocated i really don't i feel like this is a one-sided relationship i'm giving to y'all even if i ain't got much to give huh, even if i ain't got much to give and i think that's low down some of y'all pretend like y'all got so much more than me well hell you ought to be you ought to be giving more to the relationship but y'all like to see me struggle. Y'all laugh about that. Y'all think it's funny. Huh. You enjoy it. You wouldn't have it in the way. And you were hoping that it stay that way, but it's not. Even if it take me a little while, God is, 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 is giving me more. It's giving me more spiritually as well as physically and materially. Yes, it may not be at your speed, but, but, it, but it's coming. It's coming. And I have I have I have I have so much confidence, more confidence in relying on God. Because man and woman will let you down. Oh yeah. They'll let you down. So I have to build my faith in God. God won't let me down. Yeah. Yes indeed. But anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. And yeah, we're gonna we're going through some changes on the on the uh Karma Kaboom social media. Yeah. So just know, just know that it's not gonna be like it like it have been. Okay? I don't want it to be a surprise to y'all. I'm letting you know right now. I've been I've been giving y'all too much of me. And a lot of y'all ain't been giving nothing at all. And as it relates to my videos, guess what's guess what's gonna happen? Most of them gonna be private. And a lot of them will be for the members only. As soon as I do the videos, they going straight to private. And you just gonna get you just gonna have to get mad about it. Well, I didn't get to watch it. Well, have you been contributing to the channel? If you haven't been contributing to the channel, you don't deserve to watch them. Yes, I said that. I, I'm sick of y'all being selfish. And you want me to be so generous with you. Huh. That ain't right. I'm sick of y'all being selfish. And you just want me to just give, give, give. See, I have gotten y'all spoiled. That's the problem. I done got a lot of y'all spoiled. So it's time to unspoil you. Yes. It's time to unspoil you. Yeah. So, other than that, I'm going to be, I don't know when, 
but I'm going to be getting me my own app. It will be subscription based, where, which means you're gonna have to pay in order to watch my videos. And I was gonna close down my Karma Kaboom Facebook page because y'all don't participate over there no way. And I think that's so disrespectful. I might as well go to the graveyard and talk to the graveyard folks, to the dead folks. <laughs> I got subscribers, I got followers, and don't none of y'all got nothing to say. Uh, none of y'all got nothing to say on my Facebook page. Really, I take that as a great disrespect. And I'm sick of y'all fake ass folks. I'm so sick of you. I'm so sick of you. I was gonna shut it down, but I said okay. I'm not gonna shut it down. So what I'm going to do? I've already started another one. So I'm gonna go over there to that other one and I'm gonna build my tribe over there. Somebody that'll appreciate me. Yeah, somebody that'll donate to me. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. And y'all think y'all be hurting me by not donating. Y'all think y'all be hurting me by not participating in the conversation, not giving no comment, not sharing, not liking, not doing a motherfucking thing. Forgive me, love for cussing. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and see, that's the whole point. You want to you wanna offend me. You want to offend me. That's, that's what you want to do. And you have done a real good job. And those of you that keep on liking my Facebook page and you using them fake, 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 fake profiles, I see you. I see you. And and every time y'all come over there, guess what I do? Huh. I go to your page and block you. And your name, some of them names y'all be using, it sounds so fake, Jessica Jackson. You came over there yesterday and, and soon as I called you out you, you you block yourself you block yourself and then you had somebody or probably you with another fake profile they came over there talking about oh she's real she's real and posting all them old garbage comments up under there and I blocked that person too I'm not gonna tolerate y'all all, all y'all fake trolls you make me sick you make me sick you really do But yeah, I gotta find my tribe. So I said I'm gonna start going live on my other page. And I'm gonna start building my tribe. People that appreciate me. People that's going to participate in the conversation. Okay? People that's not scared to let other people know that they really truly F U C K with me. Right? That's why a lot of y'all don't say nothing over there on Facebook because you don't want your friends and family members to see you commenting on my page because you want them to think that you don't F-U-C-K with me. But if you don't F-U-C-K with me, why do you F-U-C-K with me? Don't F-U-C-K with me at all, okay? If you got a hide in the bushes and you scared to let everybody know that you're over there on my page, don't come over there. Don't click the like. Don't click the follow. Don't click the friend request. Don't click the follow request. Don't click the subscribe button. Don't click the member button. Don't click not have it. Just stay the hell away from me. That's what you need to do. But you can't do it because you are obsessed with me. You can't do it. I challenge you to do it. You can't do it. I'm like an addiction to you. You can't do it. You can't stay away. You cannot stay away. You can't stay away. I bet you can't. I bet you can't stay away. <laughs> you can't do it. You got to see what I'm saying. You got to see what I'm doing. You got to see what I'm thinking. You got to see what I'm eating. You got to see where I'm going. <laughs> did I lose my job? Do I got another job? Do I, did I lose my house? Do I got another house? Do I got another man? Did I divorce the other husband? Look, look. And I'm going to always keep y'all guessing. I stay on y'all mind all the time. I, I'm occupying space in your head. And you just can't let go. You just can't let go. But yeah, <laughs> I got to find my tribe. 
people that appreciate me so i'm going to be promoting myself a lot more and expand uh, god is expanding my territory and i'm gonna be participating in uh twitter i don't understand twitter but i'm gonna have to find out about twitter and how it works twitter tiktok um oh i'm gonna i'm just gonna just be having a blast out here right and i'm gonna find my tribe people that appreciate me because y'all clearly don't i let you girl peace